Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the first week of November. So it is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, guys, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future. And then we'll look into your person's energy, whoever's on your mind, and your energy, and see what is going on there. So thank you so much to everyone who's returning. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And if you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I do do personal readings. That info's in the description box below if you'd like. All right. So I hope everybody is recovering from Mercury retrograde. I didn't realize until I snapped out of it how bad it actually was. So I hope you guys are doing okay. Let's see what your energy looks like for the beginning of November. I feel the need to shuffle just a little bit more. So let's cut it one more time. This is for Scorpio. I'm going to turn on some candles for you. A little remote control. All right, so in the recent past, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse with the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. The current energy is the Four of Swords in reverse with the Three of Cups. The Tower in reverse, there's your energy. In the near future, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Pentacles and then the Ten of Wands. So the overall energy is the Sun card, which is great. I mean, this is definitely the best card in the deck. It is the happiest card, finding joy. Um, God knows, if you guys had a hard time through these last couple of weeks, you, you could be coming out the other side just saying, I'm just glad the sun's shining. That was tough. I'm glad to be on the other side of it. Feeling a little brighter, cheerier, happier. Things could finally start feeling like, okay, uh, they're lifting a bit. So let's look into, I mean, you could be dealing with a Leo, yes. Let's look into the recent past. So with the Nine of Cups and the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles in reverse, it seems like no matter how dissatisfied you may be in situations, you still open yourself up so freely. It's like you don't hold back. If somebody comes to you with an idea, let's say that, that's what I feel like. Someone's coming to you with an idea with the Page of Pentacles. I think you're always open to that. Even if you don't necessarily agree with it 1000%, I think you are always as supportive of the people around you as you possibly can be. In this case, it could be that somebody does or just recently did come to you with some kind of an offer or an idea. And it wasn't necessarily what was going to make you completely happy, but I just don't feel like you're holding on so tightly to the way things used to be or the way that maybe you had seen them that you're opening up to the idea that, okay, something could look a little bit different. So it's not, you know, A and B, it could be A, B, C and possibly D. We'll see. So that could be also the way you're feeling about a relationship is that even though it's not the perfect scenario, you're open to it. I think this person's energy is saying, hey, listen, I have some solid, a solid offer here. Yes, it is a page, it's not a knight, it's not a king. So it's a very youthful type of energy. It may feel very much, or you may have met this person in your youth, something of that sort. But I sense that whatever it is that they bring to the table feels very solid. And they're doing the best that they can, and I think you're open to that. Like I said, I just don't think it's everything you could want, but it does feel like it's something that makes you, definitely makes you happy. So the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like, is your energy. Maybe there's a part of you that doesn't feel as grounded or stable within the situation as you'd like to be, but I don't think that you want to necessarily dart away from it. Even if it's not the most relaxing or... Um, you know, perfect type of relationship. I feel like it's good enough that you don't necessarily want to run for cover. Now, there's your energy again. This is you going through a transformation. It could just be that you're transforming into seeing things from a different perspective. A part of you could be saying, hey, I always thought it should look like this, but maybe it can look like this. This could be a work situation as well where things are starting to really shift and change. Could just be your whole attitude in general. And I say attitude not meaning like you have an attitude, like that kind of, you know. When you use the word, it can be used in so many different ways. It's like you have a different way of looking at things. Yes, perspective is one way to word what I'm trying to say. But it's almost as if all of you is shifting. So 
really, really doing the whole burning to the ground and rising up as a different human being. You could have felt like during the Mercury retrograde that there was some ego deaths. We all have an ego, every single one of us. It is not anything to be ashamed of. There are great traits to having an ego. There sometimes can be parts of our ego that really do need to go in order for us to have more harmony in our life. And I think it could be that as well, or you're just releasing some negativity that was sitting within you that didn't feel good anymore. Maybe it was thoughts or perceptions about you and that's what's changing because the tower's in reverse, which makes me feel like you had already gone through some kind of a big change and then this death and rebirth happened. And then we get, right after that, you get the Ace of Wands, which means you there's a renewed sense of passion. Like there's a new fire in your belly. So part of you is at that place where you're like, okay, I haven't felt this way in a long time. Now, after releasing all this crap from the retrograde, I can push forward, but I feel good doing it. It's like, it isn't the same type of energetic pull that it used to be. It feels more like it's inspired and you're comfortable in it and something has changed and just makes you feel like you can go forward in a way that you really want to, whatever that may be in your life. It could be the tiniest little thing and maybe you were procrastinating for a bit and now all of a sudden you're like, yeah, it's really not as bad as I may have thought it was. I'm just seeing it differently. And then in the current energy, we have the Four of Swords in reverse with the Three of Cups in the Tower in reverse. Again, this is getting out of your head, having big changes already happened, and then right dead in the center of your reading is the Three of Cups, which is about celebrating. You could be celebrating yourself, which is amazing. I hope that's what you're doing. Celebrate you for all the changes that you've made, for all the things that have um, broken away that you've been able to heal. This could also be that you just have gone out and had a really good time with some friends or you're about to and this is like you're getting that feeling back like I really just want to go and spend some time with people that I care about that I know I can have a good time. Um, so after being in solitude, maybe you were in your head a lot and all of a sudden it's like something had to fall and break away in order to get you back out and socializing the way that you would normally do. And in this case, I think it's a really happy situation. So that could also be that somebody's, well, it's your birthday time. So of course you're going to be celebrating. I was going to say it's someone's birthday, but yes, of course. You're started around, I think the first one for you guys is the 21st or the 22nd. So happy, happy, happy birthday to all of you whose birthdays fall within this time frame. Um, I hope you go out and have a really great time. Be safe. Now, in the near future, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so there's no more like going back and forth. Yes, you tend to carry a lot of weight on your shoulders. We've talked about this in all of your readings. But the Six of Pentacles is like, I'm still going to give of myself very freely. Yes, at times it can be a little trying, but I just can't give up that aspect of who I am. It's just part of my nature. So I feel like there's no question for you that if somebody needs you, even if it can be at times quite burdensome, that you're going to be there for them. So you're not going to change who you are completely. Yes, you can help shift your perspective so that it makes things feel a little bit more smooth for you. But in this case, I'm going to say the one thing about you that you're not going to change is if people really need you, even if it causes a little bit of um, upheaval in your life or a little bit of stress, I feel you're always going to be open to them. It's like you want them to know there's, in a sense, an open door policy. Whether that be for your kids, family members, whoever it might be. It could even be people that are close to you in your work situation. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse with the Page of Pentacles. This is for Scorpio. Let me cut that once. All right, so we have the Three of Swords. So there may be a third party involved in this situation, and that could be why you're not happy. There could be, you know, okay, I could give you a lot of different options. Somebody could be married. There could be, the, you know, one person just wants to be able to date more than one person. Something of that sort is coming in. It could be very painful, and it's not exactly the way you want it to be, but I feel like this person's trying to offer you something. Now, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you, and that's okay. You know, it could be you. Maybe you have two people and you really do want to make the right decision or maybe you just like dating. 
Some people do, and they don't necessarily want to settle down with one person. I think you're trying to give, or this person's trying to give you some kind of a stable offer. And I just don't feel like you're holding back too much from it. Now, see, there's the two of cups, because even though this could be painful, the two of you could see, you know, see each other for, okay, hold on. Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Look how balanced that is. So this person's trying to be, bring that balance. They want to manifest this so badly because they have such a deep connection to you. They don't want to hurt you, but at the same time, they can't let you go is what it feels like. And that's not like in a weird, obsessive, like crazy, this person's nuts and if they were abusive, you know what I mean? If they were that way, please definitely shut them out and run away. But I do feel like there's some kind of joy that you find in this situation with the sun, the magician, the two of you, and the two of pentacles. There's some kind of balance trying to be made. And I think the two of you just have to come to some kind of agreement how that's going to look. Because I don't think this person's going to give up. I think they continue to try to manifest you um, no matter what. And even if there's a part of you that feels like you need to pull away, um, I think this person's going to keep coming towards you. So... And then we got the Six of Pentacles again, because it's like you give and they give. These are two Six of Pentacles, one facing the other. And then the Ten of Cups pops up right after that. So there's some aspect of this relationship that truly makes both of you happy. It really is fulfilling to them. And then for you, it may not have felt like it was everything, but there's a part of you that also feels like it could be everything. So... It feels really good. Now, there could be, you know, a little bit of secretiveness or some things that have not been fully exposed with the King of Swords, the next card coming up in reverse. That's going to be for you guys to know for sure. Not everybody is a liar. Sometimes people just hold things within because they don't know how to express them. I'm going to leave that there because that felt really good with those cards. All right, let's look at the Four of Swords with the Three of Cups. So the Four of Swords is in reverse. This means not staying in a, a place of stuck mental energy, allowing things to flow, allowing some joy and happiness, not holding yourself back from celebrating, being happy about your birthday. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got the Fool. Yeah, they're saying take a leap of faith. Go, have a good time. Enjoy yourself. It's He looks like a birthday clown in a sense. Like he's having a really good time. Maybe some of you are going to go to the circus. You're going to go just have fun doing something different. I just saw go-karts. Maybe you'll go go-karting or just something that's, you know, maybe childlike, fun, putt-putt, you know, all those fun things. All right, let's look at the Three of Cups with the Tower in reverse. So then we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is where I feel like you've been working on you and each one of those pentacles that you've been patiently working on is starting to show you the results which is great so the tower being in reverse is where i think the big shift or the big whether it be a blow up in your life or just something that felt very traumatic i feel like you're getting past that and you're starting to put the energy back into you building back up whether it be feeling better or could be at work as well where you just feel like you need to put the puzzle pieces together and make things seem like they make sense again all right let's look at the two of pentacles with the six of pentacles in reverse well the two pentacles in reverse then we have the star card so i think it is kind of healing for you in a sense to give to others it could be the work that you do that really helps other people it helps heal other people and the star is all about that it's also a wish fulfillment so it could be very fulfilling to you and it also helps heal other people so whether it be something in research or nursing, you could be an, a natural person who helps others. You could be a healer in general, and it feels really good to you to help other people get through their stuff. Whatever it is, it feels really great. And I feel like if you follow that and you continue to follow that, it's going to help make your dreams come true. I think you'll feel fulfilled if you don't already. All right, the Six of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands, where it sometimes, yes, it can be a big burden, King of Wands in reverse, especially when you're dealing with difficult people, right? King of Wands in reverse. Let's talk about the partner. If you have somebody who has tendencies, which this is my narcissist card, in reverse, ironically, when he's upright is when I think he's a narcissist. In reverse, 
in this deck, I'm going to say he really isn't. He may have those tendencies, but at times I think it's because he carries a lot of responsibility. So whether that be a male or female in your life, this person definitely carries a lot. And they have a lot on their mind all the time, and I think you know that. They seem to be someone who also helps and gives, and they would give to you very freely if they could. It's like you're, I want to say a dream come true for them. That's what it feels like. So I have to say that for some, it may not resonate for everybody, but for some of you, you really are a dream come true for this person. All right, so I'm going to get into whoever's on your mind. It may be the same or different from the energy in the main reading. Go ahead and think about them for a second. And we will get into yours and their energy. This is for Scorpio, please. Oh, okay. Um, excited? Because <laughs> everything went flying. Hold on one second, guys. If I keep talking, you won't be able to hear me very well. Okay, so I just saw the world and the high priestess, which tells me that a lot of you are starting to trust your intuition even better. Some of you are at that place. But listen, even someone who does what I do on the regular, and I do it a lot, I don't always know 100% for sure. There isn't a psychic out there that doesn't look for some kind of feedback to understand, you know, am I getting the right thing for this person, right? All right, let's see what's going on with you and your person. So your person's energy is the Queen of Cups, great. That's somebody who's very nurturing and loving. And the Nine of Swords in reverse, great. Ten of Pentacles, wow. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is a great energy. Whoever your person is, is very stable. Um, they could look at the two of you as a power couple. I just feel like there's money that could be made between the two of you, or both of you are very stable financially. And then your energy is the King of Swords with the Three of Wands, the Page of Wands in reverse, and then the Ten of Cups. Overall energy, look at that, Ace of Cups. So if this has been something that has either been slow moving or is something that you're looking at. Let me take a sip of my coffee really quick. There is some kind of a refreshed energy to it, either a new beginning. Now, somebody's holding on really tightly to this, and I think that's your person. Remember I said this person seems to be holding on tight. I don't think they're going to let you go. Yes, it could be somebody from your past. There's a lot of nostalgia. I want to say that maybe one or both of you have been through a lot and come out the other end much more stable. Um, the King of Pentacles is somebody who's traditional, has sort of an old fashioned way of doing things. So for my ladies, you could have a, a man who is the type that really is chivalrous and likes to pay for things or likes to open your door for you or take you out to nice places, things like that, that, you know, like it used to be. Um, others, it could just be that they're very um, strong and boss-like in their job. So a very masculine type of energy I'm picking up on. And then for my guys, this could be a very work-focused female who is also a boss. Does not have to be a man. It can be a woman as well who understands you, really understands what you've been through. The two of you um, could have possibly had a past life together as well. So you recognize this soul very strongly. It just feels like a really deep connection. So like I said, they're a very nurturing person. This is not someone who loses sleep over much. I think once they deal with things, they deal with them. So where they may have been stressed out before, they're trying not to. They're focused on the happiness within the relationship and also um, the Queen of Pentacles. Now, for those of you who are dealing with someone who may have another female, it could be someone that's the mother of their children or father of their children or someone that they still have some relation with doesn't always have to be a romantic it just be that's where I feel like there could be two people in this person's life other than that they are just very nurturing and very stable they focus on their money quite a bit and I feel like that's why the ten of pentacles is popping up because they like to make sure that they have things in order financially so your energy is the king of swords with the three of wands the page of wands in reverse and the ten of cups I think you know that this makes you happy but I'm not sure 
how much you can wait. I think you're holding back a little bit. Like you don't want to expose yourself completely. Yeah, can you be a little bit energetically, um, I, I don't want to say immature, but there could be a part of you that just doesn't want to give that much of yourself. And that's the same with the King of Swords. There could be something you're just not telling this person that you don't want to open up about. Maybe it's that you see them as someone that you could be with long term. And there's a part of you that's still a little bit guarded. But that's okay. It is a new beginning. And I do feel like it's something that's going to make you very happy. Um, this is knowing that your ships are coming in with the Three of Wands. So knowing that this is something that could bring you the joy into your life and accepting it. But maybe there's a part of you that needs to work through some stuff. Let's see what we get with the Romance Angels. This is for Scorpio. So we have release your ex. Ah, interesting. That could be you or them. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Religious factors. Absolutely, that could be something. Trust. And then we have you deserve love. You are lovable. That comes out a lot for you guys. So release your ex. This could be, like I said, you are your person. The time has come to clear the to clear your energy. If there's someone from the past that's just been either weighing on your mind. Or it's something that you finally did let go of. This is saying, yes, let it go. Flirt, of course. Be your lighthearted self. Go enjoy yourself during your birthday time. Flirt and just have fun with others. The religious factors, sure. The two of you, one could be very spiritual. One could just be, you know, living out their human life. And that's cool. Or you could be from different religious backgrounds. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So for those of you willing have faith in this. I do feel very strongly that this is a, a good relationship. So let's get some advice from spirit. Judgment wanted to pop right out and I'm going to let it go to the ground because I don't feel like bending down to pick it up. But judgment can be a bunch of different things. Making a solid choice to be happy. Boy, cards just want to fly out from you guys today. Lots of energy for you all. Um, I feel like it's really about being happiness, having the ability to make the choice to just be happy. And then we have the King of Wands in reverse. So holding back just a little bit with the Five of Cups. They're like, don't pay attention to the sadness and where you felt left out. Before. Look at this. So two people who are in reverse, don't pay attention to the things that have happened in the past for either of you. It's like if you've both been abandoned or had lots of disappointments, they're saying don't sit in that energy from the past. To me, it's telling you because they're both upside down. You two are a pair. You understand each other. You understand the pains that both of you have gone through. So know that it's, it didn't come out one queen of heart or queen of cups and one king of something else. It was the same thing. So this is a deeply passionate connection. And I think it's very healing. Just don't let the interference of old wounds and old past situations to get in the way. All right, let's get the lover's oracle for you. This is for Scorpio, please. You know what? I'm going to take it because it feels right. It says, trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situ situation, it will automatically transform. And then we have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And then we have sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. This feels right for whatever Scorpios I'm talking to. This is definitely the relationship. All right. Let's look at a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. We're going to cut this. This is for Scorpio. Okay. So we have why. I think those are a lot of the things that you were going through in your mind while this retrograde was happening. Why? Why did this have to happen? Why does that have to happen? The yin energy is about balancing your feminine to your masculine. You could just be feeling extra emotional because yes, the feminines do have a tendency to be a little bit more emotional. Um, the chaos and conflict that you're trying to put behind you at this point, the observer, and then serendipity. This is where things get really good. So there's a couple of nines, which means, yep, you're closing out some small cycles and some big things are coming in. Could just be little things changing that feel really good and that's why you're starting to have this sense of there's another nine 
of flexibility and like things can turn in my favor. I feel like you've had to sit back and look at your life from a different, per well, we talked about that, from a different perspective. Just sitting back and being the observer of your life can be really amazing just to see how things look instead of being involved in it, what it looks like to be an outsider. So I think some of you may be doing that as well. Chaos and conflict, yes, I feel like that's what you're putting behind you um, and not allowing that to affect you the same way that you may have in the past. So you've got a, a lot of nines, a lot of completions, being flexible while you continue to go through all of these different things. It's going to be something new each and every week or each and every month that we're going to have come up for us. It's about healing and love and then this last card standing out and regeneration. Okay, my loves, I hope this helped. I hope it resonated for you. Thank you again so much for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you'd like a personal reading, that's in the description box below. And I hope you enjoy your week. I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Happy birthday. Take care.